we are joined today by Scott Erb and Donna DeVault from uh, Herb Photography, but more importantly, from Foodies of New England Magazine. They are responsible for all the great photos of food that Randall has actually tried to rip out of the magazines several times and eat them. The photos so good that you want to actually taste the photos themselves. These two are the two people that do all the photography for Foodies of New England Magazine. Where is Foodies now? How is the distribution? How is the magazine going? Where can, where can people find, other than Julio's Liquors, because that's where everybody comes and gets it, where else can they go and find this great magazine? Well, we were just at Barnes & Noble yesterday, and there were some by the cash registers at the cash wrap. Okay. And also on the magazine racks in the regional section. Uh, although I was tempted to steal a few and stick them in right next to the uh, wine spectator magazines over in the food section, but it is in regional right now. I, you know, I don't know if that's a bad place for it to be. I think there's a little less, you know, a little less competition maybe in the regional section. Yeah. We've, we've had debates about that. About yeah. Have you? Go, yeah. Have you? But I've also been on photo shoots with you two, and seen the way that you guys actually compose all the the the, the pictures and the food and everything like that. I know they're using trickery to make theirs look good. You are not. We do not, no. There's no, like, there's no, like, all of a sudden, uh, you know, Donna comes running with some glycerin and throws it on the food or no, no, try to no. make it look good. I mean, you can, after they're done shooting, I, I, last time I was there, I ate the food. Well, that's also kind of the benefits of our job, so we, <laughs> we don't like to mess with the food too much. I mean, we do move things around to make it more composite. Well, uh, absolutely. Feeling, but, it's handled well. But you know what? We trust the chefs that we work with. The people that we work with are phenomenal chefs, and um, they know what they're doing. And they, when they put a plate down in front of you, it looks amazing. So there's not a whole lot we have to do to get a camera ready. Today, especially in the day, uh, now we have you know Facebook and we have Instagram and everything like that. There's a ton of food porn out there. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> People snapping pictures. I'm guilty of it myself, so I, I'm not going to say it. I was away in France, and Donna almost hit me over the head when I came home because she was like, I, I couldn't believe all the stuff you were sending Jealous. for the for the, the of the food. But I don't think that most people do what they're taking picture of justice. The pictures in Foodies of New England Magazine, however, I can open up to any page. Randall, look at this. Please stop torturing me. <laughs> should, I, should I hold it this way? Yes. Okay. Everybody can't Ooh, see it because it's theater of the mind, but I'm holding it as if it was a uh, centerfold. Yes. Okay. We should have some centerfolds. I like that idea. Yeah. Everyone that I go to, and I got to say that uh, my lovely wife Jennifer and I have actually, um, because of some of the articles and some of the pictures we've seen, have actually gone to some of the restaurants. Oh, good. Uh, in the magazine, the it's Golden funny. Lamb Buttery comes to mind. Ooh, yum. Mm, yeah. Now, how was that to how was that to shoot? Because that's an interesting place. Yes, it's a very um, very different kind of restaurant. It's in an old barn, which is beautiful, and uh, so they're only open in the spring, summer, and early fall. But it's a great scenic location. And the food is made in this cute little kitchen that's kind of been grandfathered in. So it does have that amazing kind of homemade feel. And you can walk through the kitchen and see them making Oh, you food. have to walk through yeah. the kitchen. It's not like you, yeah. you can. I got to tell you the story of our first time going there. We've been there several times now. Oh, wow. Good. Because uh, we really, we really love the place. The first time we went there, we walked through the kitchen, Randall. And these guys, there's like two chefs in there. And they're cooking on a <laughs> electric range top. It's amazing. Like, they got like eight do. burners, and it's electric range time. I'm basically, you know, people in the cooking world will, will, I think, will back me up on this. Electric range is basically a toy. <laughs> um, you really it can't is. really get the right temperature. You can't do all this stuff. And like the Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> <laughs> just shy of the Easy Bake Oven. Yeah. A little upgrade from there. And, well, we're in the process of a, a kitchen remodel at our house, and I'm walking through it. I said, I turned to Jen and go, "Do you see what men can do with just a piece of electric grill?" <laughs> and what these guys were were actually putting out was I insane. Now, I know there's a full kitchen downstairs. <laughs> she didn't know that I knew that. Th the food there was, was fantastic. How do you guys choose, like, the restaurants? Mm, good question. That's a good, yeah, it's a great question. That you guys decide to do. I know you get themes and stuff, but... We usually have people that we know in our surrounding our foodie friends basically our foodie network okay. of uh, uh, contacts they they have a lot of great ideas uh, we also use social media all right uh, so jody will put out something on social media and say hey, now who's jody just so people know uh, jody is our social media guru she runs much ado marketing okay and um she's been helping us for the last three or four years kind of build up our kind of online presence 
And so, so it's a lot of. It seems to be like a lot of almost word of mouth. Uh, it's definitely word of mouth. Uh, you, we always kind of like vet the restaurants by either going there and checking them out, or you know, making sure we do our due diligence research online through Yelp and other kind of review sites. There have been plenty of times where somebody has just been so like, you have to go here. It's amazing and. It ends up being absolutely amazing. So finding those little gems is really the key. Now, has it ever happened that it happened to be the opposite of that? Uh, just once. Just once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Without naming any names. You're going to get them in trouble. I know. Yeah, you really are. That's my job. Was it a horror show? Was what, somebody what, what, overhyping what? it? Well, yeah. I think there was maybe a little overhyping it. I think that, you know, we spend a lot of time in kitchens. We can see kind of the difference in quality of ingredients. And, you know, we're very centered on, you know, using local and finding places that kind of source from really unique locations. And we went in that place and we were like, yeah, there's not any of that really happening here. So, you know, we tasted the food and we were just like, you know, it's good, but it's not. I could make this at home. I want to go out, have an experience that I can't have at home. I want to find something I've never had before or taste, you know, unique flavors together. So well, that's, I mean, that's really your job in the magazine. Yes. Right. Is to tell people where they can go mm -hmm. to get something that they normally would not be able to, to either taste on their own or, exactly. or make on their own. That's so, the fun part of the adventure right there. Let's find something unique. The uniqueness of it, I think, is what sets this magazine apart. Now, the issue that's out right now is the winter 2014. So, Artisan Breads was the big thing. Yeah, Donna's like smiling at me because she's like, bread, yes, love. Um, <laughs> I'm French at heart, yeah, so yeah, okay. Bread. You guys take photos of food for a living. Do you ever find yourself taking those hipster cell phone pictures of your own food and posting that up, or do you just strictly do it for business? Oh boy, I feel like I'm in a confessional now. Yes, I've done confess. That. Yes. Confess my child. I've done yeah. that. I feel much better. It's, Instagram, yes. You know, sometimes uh, we run into uh, situations where we don't have our, quote, real camera. Yep. And uh, yeah, we, we go, this is so amazing. I need to remember this for the rest of my life. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here's my iPhone picture of it. But I'll be back. Randall and I had the privilege of traveling with Scott down to uh, Tennessee. And yes. I could almost see him, like, all of a sudden pulling out, like, you know, lighting and tripod and, and like, you know, over there, like, uh, him and Don are at a romantic dinner and go, wait a minute, honey. <laughs> I've done that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that has And happened. then it has the, uh, the, the i got to take a picture of this. Don't touch it yet. And then taking pictures of it. Yeah, we eat a lot of cold food. Yeah, yeah actually, <laughs> a lot. So um, this issue on bread, which I thought was really cool, it's amazing to me that, you know, we're sort of gone back to like how bread was made uh, mm. years and years ago. And this is sort of all coming back now, uh, which fascinates me. Was it interesting doing these like pictures? Because oh. I got to tell you, like bread, it, it's it's great. And I love I love bread. Don't get me wrong. I'm Italian. Are you kidding me? But maybe not as sexy as some of the other stuff you guys usually shoot. It, it's a lot harder to shoot because it's basically just brown. There's a lot of browns. There's nothing. <laughs> a lot of beiges, browns. Yeah, beiges, browns. It's, 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 that's the trick to finding uh, the creating a right a good image of bread but uh, cutting it open and seeing all the wonderful cellular structures and and just uh, did it inspire it, you yeah, it's so inspiring it, it just smells so good <laughs> <laughs> have you started uh, have you started doing anything yes it? yes actually I was just saying that uh, I have started making my own bread since doing this uh, oh really so inspired yeah and then going up to King Arthur was amazing they were so you know just forthcoming with any information and I ended up buying a lot of things from their little store yeah. isn't that but uh, King Arthur or two, don't they? They do like a helpline too, don't they? Yes, they do. So, like, if you're having a problem with your <laughs> bread rising or whatever, you can call that's them that's up that's and they'll actually walk you through. Them. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> they some do of classes us, and everything. Yeah. Some really? of us need a lot of help, so we appreciate things like that quite a bit. The magazine itself is just a lot of fun. I mean, I have the privilege of uh, of writing for it. Actually, Randall and Scott and I traveled down to Tennessee to pick up barrels of George Dickel. We met some great people down there. Uh, Donna, you should have come. It was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> rub it in, guys. Yeah, yeah, rub it in. It. So you, um, you didn't miss out on that fun night, by the way. Well, yeah, the the the, uh, the horror show that was our uh, hotel room, um, coming down at like what was it, like five o'clock in the morning? With a fire alarm, yes. Yes, Randall was the best one because I I didn't think he was coming out. Yeah, I didn't no. think so. Yeah, I was just hoping that it was just a false alarm at that point, really. <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun to have you along to take the pictures because we didn't have to worry about setup because a lot of the stuff the articles that we do we we have to do a lot of setup. This way, everything was just. It was raw. It was what it was. It More was documentary, there. and it was great. I did bring lighting, and we did do some, you know, we did do shots, some lighting, but, yeah. Um, 
It was great. It was one of the best times I've ever had. We had to keep refacing Randall to get his best side. Yes. That was the fun part. Well, thank you very much for making me look good. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody has the issue or goes out and gets the issue, there's a great picture of Randall uh, wrapped in a woolen blanket. And everybody always asks about that picture because I'm so glad they decided to include that because that's how they make the filter, the filter of the whiskey. There's a whole big story. Um, involved in that, you'll have. If you want to know more, you'll have to read the magazine. Yes, I was <laughs> reprimanded for this. You were reprimanded because you tried to leave with the blanket. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's not get silly here. He might have filtering needs at home. Who knows? <laughs> he has other needs, but they have nothing to do with a filter. What's next for the magazine? What's next? Yeah. Do you guys? Can you guys? Can Can you let us in on a little clue? What What's your next? I believe thing? the spring issue well, is next. Yes, the spring issue is next. <laughs> He's good. And we he are we are already discussing themes for that issue, but um, that nothing has been. Uh, solidified yet. I'm pretty excited that if we do go the direction we're going to, it's going to be a very colorful, very beautiful issue. Oh, excellent. Because of the, it was the bread issue, I think it was probably the most beige and tan of the, right. all the issues. We decided to move away from the beige and tan. The beige and <laughs> tan. Like, the distribution has been getting bigger and bigger. Right. So the, my favorite recent addition to our distribution list is Wegmans. They're now selling the magazine? They are now selling the magazine. All right. What's the total distribution now? What are we, what are we, oh. Do you guys know where we're 1, up to? 1,500. I think, locations. locations right. 1,500 locations. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, you know, it started right here in Worcester. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to make a nice, nice splash out there. I don't think everybody else is really doing what you guys are doing. Well, it was great having you two uh, on the show today. Uh, go out Thank and you. get a copy of Foodies of New England Magazine. 1,500. Yes. 1,500 locations that you can find it. The uh, winter issue, of course, has uh, a picture of Randall in it, if you didn't need another excuse to go get one. <laughs> Wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back to It's the Liquor Talking on WCRN.